They're more towards the center of the face than, I don't usually put them in the middle of the circle. It kind of takes more personality if they're closer together. A couple eyebrows up like that. Looks curious, I think. And the line over here with the glasses and like a C for the ear. And when I do the um, face, I'll start kind of near the edge of the lens here and swoop down. Stop, start at the ear, swoop down, and maybe the neck. It's a little warped, but that's all. <laughs> and when I was um, first creating him, you, you saw the cartoons that I usually do uh, for off the market. I usually don't have to draw a character over and over. I draw it once and do something completely different. So with these characters, I have to draw them over and over and over and over. And I noticed I was drawing Mari's hair differently every time. So I came up with a system so I could remember. And basically I wrote a word. M-I-N-I, -I, mini. And oh. then, so it's more like mini two. It's, too, <laughs> it's very clever. Oh, so yeah. basically it says mini two up in his hair. <laughs> and it didn't really mean anything. So people would ask, well some people would notice and say, why does it say mini? In his hair, and I just it's like remember how to draw his hair. I don't seem disappointed. But I, think, I think Matt Groening, so. when he has Homer or Bart, his initials M G are actually in the hair. When he draws it. When he yeah. draws it, the G is the is the the, the ear. The M so M G. Yep. Yeah. And a little dot here. So in the third book, I gave it some more meaning. I made it kind of subtle, but I added something. So many need something else. And of course, he's always. Covered in cat fur. <laughs> so that is Marty. And I'll just sign your work. <laughs> and I decided at a certain point uh, when I started doing off the mark that I was going to sign my name so people could read it. Because yes. There were so many cartoons I look at, and I'm like, I can't even tell. With that name. So I will move on now.